Hello, and welcome to this episode of Public Pictures Theater. Tonight, we will be watching McClintock featuring John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Maureen O'Hara wrote in her autobiography that the spanking scene at the climax of this film was completely authentic, and that John Wayne carried it out with such gusto that she had bruises for a week. Believe it or not, this film is the 11th highest grossing film for the year 1963. And while this film is a comedy, Wayne expressed that he wanted this film to really represent his conservative political views. Please enjoy McClintock here on Public Pictures Theater. Hello, and welcome back to Public Pictures Theater. I'm Jackie, and I'm here with Candace and Sarah to talk about McClintock. So what was your initial reaction to the film? I was really disappointed in this film. I've seen a couple John Wayne films, and I know that they're very Western, and that's his aesthetic, um, and he's kind of this chatty, sarcastic character. But after watching this film, I was like questioning life decisions. I was like, oh my gosh, the treatment of women in this film is so appalling. And it almost seems like a story that shouldn't be told because of the way they handle some of the situations. So I was really disappointed in this film. Yeah, I agree. They kind of do, um, especially in the beginning, they spin Kate as kind of this terrible person like, oh, you left McClintock, he's such a good guy, he's got a good reputation. Um, but throughout the film you realize that it's kind of his fault and mm -hmm. you kind of see how his values will kind of, I don't know, would ruin a mar marriage to begin yeah, with in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> Right, because Kate's such a strong character, and it's almost like in the movie, if you're a strong woman, then you have to be mean, you have yeah. to be coarse, and you have to be disliked. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if you could change one thing about the movie, what would it be? I would reverse the roles. I think <laughs> Maureen O'Hara should be chasing John Wayne down the street with a shovel. Um, I, I just think that the treatment of the female characters in this film was really upsetting, so I definitely would change that mm -hmm. dynamic, especially in the marriage, um, because he cheated on her, and she just goes back to him and says, oh, I'm not going to go away anymore at the end, and I was disappointed in the ending of the film. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, it just seemed like after the domestic abuse, it kind of, they were kind of giving the message that you're ruling the household and that a woman wants that. Well, women don't. Yeah. And um, on top of that, aside from that, it may seem minimalistic, but I would have changed kind of how the um, Native Americans were portrayed. Um, you know, the one guy's riding his horse and says, let's get drunk later, and that's kind of a sensitive cultural um, problem that we see today on reservations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yep. How do you like the relationship between Mr. and Mrs. McClintock? Do you think it's funny? I think it started out as funny because he was just kind of letting her be that way. He was letting her be uh, controlling and kind of mean to him and I thought that was funny because he reacted in a way that was kind of like oh shucks and then at the end uh, there's that scene where he's spanking her and to me that that is not an appropriate thing to show on TV either mm -hmm. um, and I felt like that really ruined the whole idea of the relationship especially that she went back to him after that I think if they would have had her say something right after that scene and they didn't end up together at the end, it would have been a little bit more of a, a conclusion that I would have been more comfortable with um, because she was standing up for herself. Um, but because he's allowed to have, you know, females that he has interactions with that are not his wife in their marriage, and she's okay with that at the end, I just, I don't think that was a, a good way to present that relationship at all. Yeah, exactly. And to add, um, once again, McClintock's portrayed by the town as this you know, he's right in every circumstance. And um, I especially didn't like the very end where she's being chased in the streets and yeah. she's basically getting stripped down to um, her underwear, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and people laugh at her, they think it's funny. And even even here and there in the middle of the film, um, she's being laughed at, she's being made fun of. Yeah. And sometimes it's funny because you can kind of tell that McClintock's character truly does care for Kate, but it's just the way that the situations are handled is just not good and not appropriate. Well, and the fact that his soon-to-be son-in-law is the one that hands him the shovel to spank her, mm -hmm. like that that's yeah. okay, and I just, that's not a, a Exactly, good way to and, and I think McClintock was the one who encouraged him to be assertive with his own daughter, yeah. and yeah. to me that was awkward because, um, if I remember correctly, he's kind of standing there watching this happen yeah. and laughing about it. Yeah. And just smoking um, a cigar, like, exactly. there's, yeah. like, yeah. yeah, he's just, you know, spanking my daughter. Like, yeah. yeah, not a big deal, you know, but, yeah. 
So while filming this banking scene, John Wayne actually hit Maureen O'Hara and she supposedly had bruises for a week. What are your opinions on this bit of trivia? Um, so in preparing for this film, I watched a couple of interviews uh, with Maureen O'Hara and she talks about this in her biography, uh, the idea of that actually getting hit on set because they wanted the stunts to look realistic. Um, she says in her interviews that like, if you don't want to watch my films, if you don't want to see that, don't watch it. Like, I don't care. that I did my job. I was on set and I did what I was asked to do. And I think it's really interesting, especially with the current dynamic in Hollywood, this whole sex scandal that's going on with women coming out and saying that they've been mistreated and sexually abused by their superiors that are male. I think it's interesting to see this sort of behavior on screen and then come to where we are now and realize that it hasn't changed at all. Like, the treatment of women in the industry if it was a, a guy that had to do a stunt in that kind of scene, they would find a way to put in a stuntman or they would find another way to handle that situation. But because she was the female and they needed this pivotal scene to the, the plot, they used her and she had to actually get hit. Um, so while she was like, I did my job, I think in today's climate, if something like that happened, we now thankfully have like ways we can talk about it, like the, the news and reporting it through that kind of way. But the treatment of women in the industry has not changed drastically, and I think that's where the problem lies in that situation. Yeah, and that mm -hmm. really um, speaks to the time period, too, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, kind of indirectly related to it, I was reading an interview that someone um, wrote about For the Murder She Wrote actress. Can't think of her name right now. but um, Angela in, Lansbury? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Angela Lansbury. And um, in spite of, not in spite of, but especially during this time, she said, well, women are kind of put in those positions because they need to look attractive. And that shocked me that a woman would say that. Um, but in retrospect, she's older, and you know, maybe in the instance of Maureen O'Hara, um, that was the mentality, especially in show business, where you do your job. Yeah. So, And I feel like with that scene, it could have been so easily avoided. I mean, you could have put padding yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, she, she still had her pantaloons on. Exactly. Or, or you could crop it so her face isn't in the shot and replace mm -hmm. it with a dummy or something. Right. Yeah, there are ways to avoid it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you were to recast this film today, who would you cast and why? I think if I was to recast this film, I would rewrite it. <laughs> and I would definitely make it more comedic, and I would make it kind of a role reversal and I would love to see Jennifer Lawrence in the role of the daughter because I think she's a really funny actress um, and I think that she would make that role really funny and sarcastic and I think that would be interesting. I don't know who I would cast as Maureen O'Hara's character just because she has such a really strong presence in the film um, and I think John Wayne's character should be played by someone like uh, Hugh Jackman or somebody like that who would look great in a cowboy outfit um, but would also like kind of have a, a redeeming quality about him, mm -hmm. like a softness that you could see in his character. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, um, I think Clint Eastwood actually would be, interesting. be mm -hmm. a more appropriate, harsher McClintock because John Wayne, I grew up on John Wayne, and I've never really seen a movie where he's kind of portrayed as a jerk, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen Clint Eastwood movies where he kind of plays the bad guy. He kind of plays the ugly character. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't really change a thing, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all we have time for today. I want to thank you guys for being here to talk about the film and remind all of our viewers that if you miss an episode or want to see more, you can visit our YouTube channel, Public Pictures Theater, for more public domain films. Thank you for watching, and good night.